conversations about me to you. You should fucking shut it down and not be having conversations about me with anybody. Guys, there's been so much happening in the BB Ninja house. So last night I was up and I listened to the conversation between Kim and Pere. And all I could see was Kim trying to push a narrative towards Pere. Guys, we all know that Kim is playing both Cross and Pere. Kim will go to Cross and tell Cross a different story. Come to Pere and tell Pere, you are not giving me the time. You don't want to talk to me. You are avoiding me, you know. So Pere today was trying to tell her everything, the reason why he has been avoiding her. According to Pere, Pere said that when Kim came into the house, he wasn't expecting Kim because when they spoke outside, Kim was like, she's not coming, you know. So seeing Kim in the house was very surprising to him. But still, he spent the first night with Kim on her bed. I mean, he had to give up his bed for Lucy to sleep, right? So after the first night, he saw how the dynamics was going. He saw that Cross was just all over Kim, you know. He decided to take a step back because he doesn't want to have an issue with Cross because of a lady, which he said openly to Kim. He also noticed that Cross was all over Kim, you know, everywhere they were. Like, Cross was literally following Kim about, and there was no space for him to have a conversation with Kim. So, he decided to take a step back, you know, in as much as Kim was trying to accuse him that, oh, but I saw you, you were all over Lucy. He was like, wait, Lucy was just coming towards me because, I mean, we needed, I've seen Lucy outside of the house. We've had one or two chats on IG, but I have seen Lucy just once, but we were just vibing. Do you understand? And then, you know, Kim was just all over the place saying this, saying that. I mean, Kim did not have any solid thing to stand because we all saw how Pere took a step back. And that was the smart thing to do. Pere is not going to have an issue with Cross because of Kim. Kim is the only person that can define, okay, fine, let me spend more time with this person and spend more time with this other person. If you claim the person is your friend so much, why are you so bothered that the clip that Big Brother posted the other day was going to make Cross feel some type of way, you know, if you have put in so much energy for us to get to know ourselves outside of the house. So why is the narrative changing in the house? According to Pere, Pere was like, at some point he had to think that maybe there's something there. Maybe there has been an unfinished business and that's the reason why Cross is acting the way he's acting. But apparently... Kim was just saying, no, that is just because Cross is nice. Cross asks her, have you eaten? Cross makes food for her. Cross does this for her and all of that. Guys, we know that it is Cross that has been pushing that situation. But it seems like Kim likes Perry. If not, she will not be having this conversation. I'm also confused that if you like somebody, so why are you spending so much time with another person? We all know that you're friends with this person. Don't get me wrong, but why are you putting in so much energy, you know, to make this other person feel better? I don't know. It might just be who Kim is. According to her, that's just the kind of person I am. It's the same energy you give to me is what I'm going to give back to you, you know. Cross has been sweet to her, so she needed to be sweet to Cross. So the bottom line of their conversation has been that Cross pushed towards Kim because he knows Pere likes Kim and he just wants to be in the middle of that situation for no just reason, you know, trying to collect Kim. Or maybe because Venita pushed pushed Cross towards Kim. I don't even know why Cross would want to do that to his dear friend. On the other hand, I'm also thinking that Kim got jealous of Elebaye and Cross and the reason why she inserted her situationship with Cross, you know, you know, like jealousy can make you do a lot of things because after they kissed, she was so worried. She was saying, hey, I don't want the narrative, the narrative, one narrative exactly. I don't want to be in a triangle. What triangle are you talking about? If you and Cross, you guys are not already in an entanglement, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But these are what I was just thinking. This was what was going through my mind. Anywho, let's get into the next conversation about doing wanting to take a voluntary exit or go into the diary section and ask the fans have people not to vote for her guys i am wondering why would she do that except she's scared that nobody will vote for her or she using this as a means of saying oh i already said it for them not to vote for me you know that's the reason why i'm going home guys i really do not know 
You know that Doyin is another housemate that they feel is very strong. Doyin, I don't know if Doyin is that strong, but we are going to find out this week how strong Doyin is. Is Doyin going to, you know, be stronger than Vernita? Is Doyin going to be stronger than White Money? Is Doyin going to be stronger than who else is up for eviction? Kim? I think we all know that Kim is going. But I don't know what um, Doyin is thinking. I mean, like, it's just funny to see that. <laughs> Doye wants to take a voluntary exit and she's not even pushing towards that and guys all of this is because she found out that angel voted her nominated her for eviction possible eviction come sunday and she's not in her feelings but guys she's also forgetting that she hasn't been a great friend especially to baye you know she's not a loyal person she's not a loyalist and baye has been keeping it 100 with her so i mean like it's just karma i'm happy this is playing out like this so she will know that see there's nobody to be trusted in that house the only person you should have trusted would have been elebaye but instead she played her dirty anywho guys the conversation between elebaye and sissy also caught my attention last night you know that conversation was giving I won't give you the chance to explain yourself. Oh, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You know, that was what Sissy was doing to Baye. Forgetting that Baye is... I'm not, I don't, will not want to use young anymore, but she has been there, you know. She's forgetting she's worse than Baye, you know. You know, you guys, Sissy's forgetting that part of her. But I mean, like, we're not going to be discussing that part. She and another thing is that these housemates, they tend to have an excuse for everything. But when Baye comes with her own excuse, they, they don't, they don't accept it. They don't accept it. And God, I'm like, what are you people doing? Like you guys can have an excuse for everything, but Baye cannot because Baye is lying. Because Baye is lying. We have clocked Baye's game. She's lying. Is it your game that we haven't clocked? You guys are forgetting that the game is not about the the people in the house in as much as they have to live in the house. But then we, the viewers, also, we can see what we are saying, you know. You guys, they are forgetting. <laughs> guys, as the viewers, we see what we see. Bayo was trying to explain herself. I don't know why you think Bayo would just stand up and just want to look for trouble. I feel like the house, they have to learn how to avoid Bayo. Look at how they've been staying away from Bayo. Is Baye looking for trouble intentionally? No, you will never see Baye going intentionally to look for problems. Nah, except you poke her. Just like that day, why money actually poked her? By reducing the volume, by also turning off the, the, the switch, you know. He wouldn't have done that if it was someone else. And also Angel changing her mouth. I don't know if Angel... The previous day, the day the whole situation happened, Angel was with Baye. I don't know if she switched because the the situation was with white money, her guy, or because she was drunk at that minute. I don't know. But, I mean, everything that Baye said, I stand by Baye. She deserved to treat white money the way she treated white money. And it's okay for somebody to cry. I mean, the entire house, they cry. Look at, look at Doyin was crying last night. Nobody said pity, 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 tears, pity vote. Baye is up with them. Is Baye crying? No. You know, Baye doesn't even care who, who, who went there to call her name. The girl is even, she knew she was going to be up. She knew in the house nobody likes her. And guys, she's literally enjoying the HOH cloud right now. You know that Doyin was saying that, Anybody that wins the HOH -H shouldn't take the lazy people. The lazy people, she included CCO, but CC is now smiling and shining it with her. The lazy people were CC Vernita, um, Adekule. I don't know if Adekule was in there, and, and Elebaye. But look at the people up there. CC and Elebaye, they're up there enjoying. I'm so happy that the hunger strike is not going to hit our baby girl. I mean, she should be there. Guys, I'm not taking side, but I mean, like, it's just the way they've been treating Baye that made me to love Baye. Not because, I'm not trying, I will not defend Baye when she's wrong. If you guys have been keeping up with me, you know that I call her out whenever I want to call her out, you know. And I say the truth when necessary. So, it's not because she's my girl, 
or it's not because I'm rooting for her. I'm just rooting for her because of how the housemates, they look down on her. I think she needs to be up there with them so that they can give her a little bit of respect outside of the house. You know, she deserved that. She deserved that. And I'm not saying do not vote for your fave. I'm not saying do not stand your fave. You know, people that are for buying will be for buying. People that are for mercy will be for mercy. People that are for white money or CC or Alex will be for them. So I'm not here trying to convince you to switch to anybody. You know, just stand your fave and stand firm. So if you're voting, if you haven't voted, what are you waiting for? Go and vote for your fave. I mean, like, guys, the Bayer tribe, you guys need to go harder this week. Go harder. And I mean harder. See, don't think people are voting. No, nobody is voting. It's your vote that will count. So vote. Don't take a step back. I can see what you guys are doing on my post. I posted yesterday, guys. I can see that Bayer is leading. That's how I want the final vote on Sunday shoot look like you know so thank you guys for watching if you haven't subscribed like share what are you waiting for hit on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever i post and i will see you guys on my next video bye guys